once again to C3 here on Brain Pulp TV, the show we go over some of the many card combinations Magic the Gathering with emphasis on budget and fun. Today, however, we're going to look at some non-budget cards that pair nicely with hardened scales. Now, I know the title of this episode probably has it sound like this is some serious porn action, but trust me, much like the Champagne Room and my goth phase, there is no sex happening here. None. Now, the first card that I want to talk about is one that snuck up on me out of nowhere. I had no idea. I actually found it by hitting the old random card on the Gathering's website, and that is Savage Summoning. Now, you can cast Savage Summoning for one green mana, and it itself cannot be countered. It lets you cast a creature spell as though it had a flash, and that spell cannot be countered. Plus, you get to put a plus one plus one counter on it. Now, you can see how that's going to pair very nicely with Hardened Scales here. And in my opinion, it really needs Hardened Scales to be anything spectacular. Now, if you want to be able to use this card to its effectiveness, you've got to make sure you have a low mana costing creature. How about Heir of the Wilds? For only 2 mana, you're going to be getting a 2 2 who will instantly buff up to a 4 4 Death Touch creature. He can likely kill anything that might be attacking you on turn 3. You can even use this card to play the Oh, woe is me, I'm the green player who couldn't cast my creature on turn 3, and then flash him in when your opponent takes the bait. A 4 4 Death Touch should have a good chance of killing anything on turn 3 or even turn 4. Plus, the next turn he's going to be able to trigger his own Ferocious and you can attack with a 5-5 Death Touch. Now, a nice non-budget card here would of course be the Death Miss Raptor. His low mana cost will essentially let you make a 5-5 with Death Touch creature with your Savage Summonings. And then, if you're playing any kind of Morph abilities, you can bring him back from the graveyard if he does happen to die. Now, the next card I'm going to talk about has got to be, in my opinion, the best. I know that I really pumped Justin Trudeau's brother here. But I gotta say, the Mana Gorger Hydra is insane with hardened scales. Whenever a player, that's any player, casts a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Mana Gorger Hydra. So right off the bat, your opponent won't be able to kill this guy with Wild Slash, as the sheer act of casting that spell makes him a 3-3. Now he's still a little vulnerable at first, but once you get going and casting spells, the fun just doesn't stop with this guy. After casting it on turn 3, if you can survive to turn 4, assuming your opponent hasn't cast any other spells, you can start amassing your Hydra Heads right off the bat. Cast Earth and Arms, his trigger goes off, plus the Scales trigger, there's two counters. Then the spell's effects and hardened scales add three more counters. Now you have a 6-6. Six, six. Another non-budget card would be Dromoka's Command. Casting it would give him an extra plus one plus one counter, plus the plus one plus one counter from the scales. You can choose option three to put two more plus one plus one counters on him. Then you can choose option 4 to have him fight and almost essentially kill any other creature on the battlefield. Now regardless of how many counters you have on this guy, he is still going to be very susceptible and vulnerable to any kind of removal spells. So you want to make sure he has protection. No, not that kind of protection. Wait, would a Hydra Condom have multiple? Never mind. Now the best protection spells are usually the low mana costing ones. Ranger's Guile and God's Willing will also put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on him, plus their effects. However, for the additional 1 mana cost, I would definitely say to go with Feet of Resistance. Not only will you protect him from any removal, but you'll also get a total of 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters just for the sake of casting it. Did I mention this guy has Trample? Because he does. So there you go, you can see how this card can get really out of hand with Hardened Scales in place. Imagine if you had 2 Hardened Scales played. <sighs> now the Hydra himself is between a 3 and 4 dollar card depending where you find it, which makes him not entirely budget in my opinion, However, with the hardened skills in place, he is definitely worth every penny. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Thanks for watching all of our Brain Pulp stuff. If you like what you see here, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, hopefully we'll see you again.